The Raspberry Pi used to be the go-to device whenever you needed a small task done. But with the advent of many PCs and cheap SSDs on the market, why would you still go with the Raspberry Pi solution? You want it. Now, Raspberry Pi, it's not going to have a case. You're going to have to buy storage for it. You might have to buy a power brick. And it's going to be stuck at 8 gigabytes of RAM. Now, the newer models, they've got 16 gigs, but... Again, that's going to increase the cost, pushing you towards mini PC area. You're already going to have options for up to 64 gigs of RAM. Most of them come with a small SSD, and they're going to sip just a little bit of power, uh, maybe just a little bit more than a Raspberry Pi, but it's not going to be much. It's going to be nominal. And your overall experience, because you're going to be on the x86 architecture, is going to be far superior than on the ARM chip, that the Raspberry Pi has. The only issue with the mini PC is that it has a limitation on the amount of storage that it has. Normally they're limited to one or maybe two SSDs. Um, however, there is a way around this. So what do you do? You add storage to this device. You expand the device. You make the device your device. You hack, you tinker, you have fun. But most importantly, you get the fucking job done. Now, don't get me wrong. The Raspberry Pi is a great device. However, if you're looking at a kit on Amazon, in the U.S., it's about $130 to $160. And that's right at about the price of an N100 x86 Intel. And you just can do so much more with a mini PC. You open up the case, you add in one of these expander slots to convert the M.2 into SATA drives, and then you've got your RAID 5 that you can do, or your ZFS. However, I'm going to go with RAID 5. It's easiest on a Debian release, so that's what we're going to do. And my favorite, my favorite OS distribution for Linux is going to be the Diet Pi. It's got so many options that are just pre-configured it makes your life simple so if you're new to having a home lab or your first home server and you're wondering what should my server operating system be the best linux distribution that i found and it's debian based so it's super stable is the diet pi os now yeah it was designed for a raspberry pi in the beginning but they've got an x86 release and you can either use it for UEFI or BIOS. So you can run it in virtual machines on top of it just being your base OS for your server. And it's got so many options that are pre-configured that it makes just getting things up and running super simple. And then since it's Linux, you can just keep tacking things onto it and expanding it. So what I've done is I've set up my RAID 5 on the Diet Pi OS, and then I set up virtual machines to where I run Diet Pi OS inside the Diet Pi, inside the Diet Pi, inside the Diet Pi, to where you've just got endless options for virtual machines, Docker containers, you name it. You can do everything with this. And it's so simple to get things up and running, especially more complex things like Nextcloud or Home Assistant. It's got one-click installers, basically. Um, this video is just to get your imagination flowing, get you interested in, oh, I didn't know I could do that with a mini PC. I mean, I'll go into a more in-depth video later if y'all are interested in how to put all this together. But like most of us, computer nerds out there, our home tinkerers, might have some older hardware laying around. This mini PC actually used to be my router. Uh, I upgraded some equipment to 2.5 gigabit networking, and then I was like, well, what am I going to do with this box? I'm like, well, yeah, you could use it as a Kodi box or whatever, but also I needed some off-site backups that I'm going to leave this over at my buddy's house so I can uh, do a sync thing over to it. And why not just add some cheap two terabyte drives, throw it in a RAID 5 array, 
and uh, have this thing sipping power to where this thing, it, you know, you put a big computer over at your friend's house, that's going to be a little bit of an electric bill, not much, maybe five or ten bucks a month. Uh, but when, one of these mini PCs, they sip power. I mean, they, they're so low wattage that you're not even going to notice on your electricity bill. And it's practically silent. I'll have some affiliate links in the description showing what hardware I used to get all this done. And like I said, I'll go into an in-depth tutorial and I'll show you how I got all this set up. Um, I'll, I'll make it to where it's something that's easy to copy and paste, follow along with, put out like a text document with it. You know, a lot of, a lot of different YouTubers, they, they show you a build project and they're like, oh yeah, just follow along. It's like, yeah, that's great, but where's the copy and paste bullshit at, you know? Give me, give me the easy version. So I'll do that if y'all are interested. Just leave comments below if y'all want to see that. And uh, if I get enough response positively, uh, you know, I'll get it done. <laughs>